What's up guys, I'm Jared, this is Confused Films, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, basically how to convert uh, ProTune footage and uh, make how to use it basically, um, because if you've ever tried using ProTune footage, you'll know it kind of when you imported it to your computer, it kind of looks really washed out and you're like, wow, why did I even use this mode? But um, if you use it correctly, um, it can be really awesome. So basically I'm just trying to make it easier for you. So you're going to need a GoPro Studio 2.0 um, or just GoPro Studio or yeah, just, we're just going to use that today. It's free and we're going to go full screen that and we are going to import some new files. I've already uh, transferred my files from my uh, camera, but I basically shot these in ProTune. And we're going to go hop into the external hard drive here. Wait for that. It takes forever. All right, YouTube. And where are we? Editing Pro Tune. Boom. And let's see if I can find the footage here. That's what I want. And boom, we've got it. So you're going to notice like right here, wait for it. This kind of looks crappy, as you can see. It just it does it looks washed out. It uh, the sky looks really well. The sky was kind of gray, but not that bad. Uh, everything just kind of looks crappy, almost. <laughs> All right, so um, this was shot in 1080, uh, 24 frames per second, uh, Pro Tune, and the white settings were on auto or auto white balance, whatever. So you know you know everything's legit here. We're gonna go quickly rename this stuff. So. Pan one, and uh, I'm gonna make these files are really huge, so I'm gonna have to make my directories. Uh, the hard drive, I'll just make a new folder real quick. Uh, tester. All right, waiting. Do, do, do. Save. Okay, so now we're on a roll here. We've made the uh, change the directory now quickly. Uh, quality high. Oh, it looks like it was in 60 frames per second. Sorry about that. Never mind. I was in 60 frames per second, not 24. Anyways, remove fisheye. Okay. And add a clip to conversion list. And we're just going to do this the same way. This is all about per personal preference, so you don't have to do it my way. It doesn't matter. This doesn't really have anything to do with ProTune yet. All right, so we are now in the editing tab right here, step two. <clears throat> and uh, we can see we've got our files over here. Um, by the way, when you get the pop-up window, I, I accidentally did it when the screen recording was off, but uh, it'll say, um, it'll give you an option to select pre-done templates or a blank template. Just select the blank template. That's what we're gonna be using for today. So uh, here we've got our ProTune files inside, just our little time-lapse things we took. And we're just going to drag and hold, or hold and drag, down to the timeline. And here we've got our two pieces. This is the same clip, just that GoPro separated it for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, we are just going to go over here. Just before, Actually, before we get into any of the video editing, right over here you can see uh, on the right, you have playback. And that's when you try to play your footage. Um, if your computer is kind of, you just want to want to set this to auto. Um, cause I don't know what your computer situation is, but some computers can't handle full, full resolution. So if your computer can't handle it, your video is just going to play back really jerky and that's going to suck. So don't, don't do that. Um, just keep it simple for now. So in my particular situation right now, I'm just going to quickly speed up the video because it's a time lapse. Um, so we're going to, going to speed that up. It looks really fast, but it actually isn't, uh, and so we're going to play this back and we're going to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. <clears throat> so everything looks a little washed out. There's really not that much color. It's clear, but there's, it just doesn't look that great. Uh, and also, the, it, for some reason, it looks better here, like a bit more color. And we don't like that either because now we don't have matching clips. So we are going to have to fix all of that. And it's actually very easy. Um, and we're going to fix that now. So first we're going to have hop over here. Now, if you want a quick fix, um, you can pop down here and there's these filters and there's actually some really nice filters you can add. Uh, that just turns up the contrast and everything a lot. Uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. 
but what I'm going to be doing in particular isn't so radical. You can just click on Pro Tune and that will uh, kind of make it match the other clip because that's how I think GoPro did it. And so we're going to go back here now and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, we're going to just play this really quick, if you can handle it. And now you can see it doesn't switch. You can tell it's like the same. It looks like the same clip and that's what we want. Um, so if you're just looking for a quick fix, you can just click on the Pro Tune filter and that will work. Um, but if you're looking to do a little bit more, you just might want to leave it the way it is. So we're just going to go no filter. And I don't know if that'll do it or not, but we'll just... I think it looks the same. But anyways, we're just going to switch it ourselves. So um, you want to be really careful when you're playing with your temperature and everything because it can make it look really crappy. Um, there can be too much of a good thing. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. So you're just going to want to do everything in major moderation. Don't overdo it. Otherwise, your video will look like crap. Um, don't over. Don't really crank any adjustments majorly. So we're just going to turn up our, our exposure a little bit because I know we can get away with that and take away some of the shadows and everything. Just pull that up a little bit. Uh, we can turn up the contrast a tiny bit. Not too much. Saturation is where people usually really go wrong. They turn it up too much, and then once you turn it up, you can see the ice starts looking yellow, and everything looks really stupid, and the shadows start looking purple, and we don't want, we don't want that for sure not. Even though the sky looks awesome, like, yeah, you can see it just looks majorly crappy, but you don't want to go too far the other way because then you lose everything. So we just kind of want to turn it up just a little bit. Not too much, not, not to the point where things start looking stupid and then sharpness we don't we don't really need to touch that we can pull it up a little bit but we, we don't really need to worry about that in this case right now um, we're gonna hop over here in our case we're not going to touch the tint uh, we don't really need to it's not necessary in my case anyways uh, we're just gonna drag our temperature and cool it down just to teens because it is winter time so it's supposed to be colder and that, in turn, lets me, um, where is it here? Just turn up our exposure. That allows me to turn up the saturation just a tiny bit. Actually, I can use these arrows on the side if you're trying to do very minor adjustments. So we can see I was able to turn up the saturation a little bit. And in turn, the ice didn't turn as yellow as well. It doesn't really turn yellow at all, which is kind of awesome. So now we're going to play this through. We're going to see how it looks. So it looks already a little bit better. We kind of have a little bit of a purple haze there. And as you can see, now we lost the effect on the next clip. So you're thinking, okay, well, that's stupid. How am I going to be able to do the exact same thing? You don't have to. Um, right in the corner of the bottom left of your clip that you did the editing on, just click the FX triangle. And then hop right up to here. And up here, there's a little uh, edit button. And you're just going to hit copy. All right, so you're just going to hit copy and then hop over to your next clip or whatever clip you're trying to transfer the effect over to and uh, where is it here? go to edit and click paste and boom. Now the effect is transferred over exactly how you did it so you're, you're not jumping from because you know what I mean like here now we'll play it and we'll see what it looks like. Looks the same which is really nice. I like how the ice turned out. That looks pretty sweet. Um, so that is basically all there is to editing Pro Tune. I've got a couple more clips here and I'll just let you watch a little bit. Um, now this is going to vary on what kind of clips you have because right here we don't want to really turn up the uh, exposure too much because we're facing the sun and if we start doing that it'll, well I'll show you, it'll, it'll start to wash out the picture, you know what I'm saying? So we don't really want, if anything, we would turn it down, but we don't want to turn it down too much either. We can turn it up, we can get away with turning it up just a little bit, but not too much. We can turn up, we can, however, turn up the saturation a little bit. I think we should be able to get away with that. We're getting away with that, that's all right. Uh, turn our temperature down just a tiny bit, because that sun is just driving me insane. Um... Contrast. Ooh, I like this. Pull out the colors a little bit. I, oh, wow, that, that looks nice, actually. Uh, oh, 
Our clips are a bit messed up though. Uh, for some reason they didn't. Yeah, I moved that one over. Okay, there we go. Now we're going. All right, and uh, I accidentally edited this one first, so I'm gonna do exactly what I did there. Head up to edit, copy, uh, and then hit this clip, and then paste. You're basically just copying and pasting uh, clips or effects. I mean, uh, so now we're just gonna hop back. If my hard drive can catch up with me, I'm using an external hard drive for this. It's kind of an old beast, so that's why it's kind of lagging a bit. I'm just gonna play this through and see how it looks. So we can tell that actually looks kind of nice, actually. Playing this. And this is another reason I removed the fisheye effect, because the everything would be really warped and stupid if I didn't. Okay, now if I didn't, I didn't uh, turn up my speed on these clips. And we're gonna turn that up. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna pull this back for a minute here. Now you can see we're, we're moving from uh, setting to setting, and we can see that's really sudden, it's kind of harsh, and I don't like that. And so you, you can just hit the plus symbol right here, and it will do a nice fade animation for you. So we'll see how that looks. That looks much better. So um, now we can see, we've kind of, you can do basic editing on this. Uh, this is more geared towards Pro Tune stuff, so I won't get into like the majors of this program. It can just do minor adjustments. If anything, it can be even be a post-editing program uh, or a pre-editing, sorry, pre-editing program. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll just pull over here really quick and wrap up this video. Uh, when you want to export it, you will export it as whatever you want to name it. We will call this one Tester. And uh, export it to wherever you want. Uh, how about we export it to the external drive? And you can uh, do whatever. Uh, it's got presets. So we're going to hit YouTube, or we could hit YouTube, but I might keep it on that. I don't know. We'll go on YouTube. That works. And export. And it will pump out your video for you. And yeah. So uh, tell me what you thought of this tutorial. If you want to see uh, on-screen tutorials of anything else, like Final Cut Pro or Motion or anything like that, uh, hit me down in the comments for the effect you want to see, and I will try to get it to you um, as soon as possible. Guys, I'm Jared, this is Confused Films, and as always, thanks for watching.